Okay, DC animated the son of Batman, which of course discusses Damian Wayne, who is the, the son of Tali Al Ghul, uh, Raz Al Ghul's, or Race Al Ghul's daughter, and Bruce Wayne. The opening sequence where it's the, the assault on the, on the Raz Al Ghul's League of Assassins compound is done very well. I will say this has a lot of guns, a lot of swords, so a decent amount of blood. This is like a Kenshin OVA. <clears throat> so there's the attack on the compound, and then it's Damien trying to get revenge with Batman trying to go, no, 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 you're in Gotham now. We don't do League of Assassins stuff here, we do Batman stuff here. It's got some great moments of just perfect one-liners here and there. I was watching my wife, me and my wife joked at some of the jokes, I laughed at a lot more of them. <clears throat> but it's just beautifully crafted tale of revenge. One of them made it even better probably been, you know, Kevin Con Kevin Conroy, but beyond that, very well done. The, the sad thing is, they could do an animated movie that has got beautiful action sequences. You know, Batman vs. Deathstroke is done well. Demi vs. Deathstroke is ridiculous. It's something where if you go, you know, if you were to put half of that into a movie, people would sit back and they would go, Did you see that fight sequence they did? That was ridiculous. And none of it came off like it was, you know, a superhuman level. It just seemed like people who were really, really skilled at their art. So, like, the majority of DC animated films, this one just knocks out the park. Now, if only they could find some sort of way to take that, even a portion of it, and blend it with the live action, DC would absolutely own the world of comic book movies.